मेरा नाम सलमान है मैं फैक्ट्री में काम करता हूँ तो पूरा दिन बेल्ट बनाने का काम करती हूँ मैं गहना का काम करता हूँ करते करते मेरा आँखों में दर्द होने लगता है मैं जनरेटर की बेल्ट का काम करता हूँ जनरेटर की बेल्ट ठोकने में मेरे हाथ में हथौड़ी लग जाती है और नाखून भी खरच जाता है और मालिक सही करवाने के बजाय गाली गुफारी देता है और मारता है these are children of a lesser god no initiation in rites of passage through a sacred journey called childhood for them for whatever brief insecure apparition in the name of childhood was reserved for them in the harsh crucible of life was soon crushed by the blows of destiny if you think slavery doesn't exist in the new millennium then you had better think again it still stares us in the face and there's no blinking away from it about 23 years ago in 1980 a 26 year old electrical engineer decided that this nightmare was not going to stop without his direct intervention he was kailash satyarthi a man with an obsession he had seen and questioned child labor from his childhood out went his job as an electrical engineer as he found the passion to eradicate this malaise tugging at his heart kailash satyarthi founded sax south asian coalition on child servitude as a mass movement dedicated to eliminating child labor The Indian chapter of this coalition was christened Bachpan Bachao Andolan BBA which in Hindi literally means the Save Childhood Movement Starting with Mukti Ashram in 1991 the thrust for giving former child laborers a new life gathered momentum with the bal ashram in viratnagar in rajasthan and with the girls collective in delhi in 1998 the freed child laborers in these three ashrams are given training covering six aspects social development conventional education vocational education health and physical education leadership development and cultural education the results have been astounding Mukti Ashram at Ibrahimpur in Delhi has rehabilitated 32 batches of 70 children from UP MP Bihar Punjab Haryana Delhi and Jharkhand from its inception Main pehle gulami kar raha tha to bahut puri zindagi thi aur aaj main bahut acha khush mehsoos kar raha hu usse behtar zindagi ji raha hu aur मैं पढ़ता लिखता हूँ अच्छा ढंग से और अच्छा नंबर से पास होता हूँ Because only boys were admitted in Mukti Ashram the Balika Ashram was started adjacent to it as a girls collective in November 1998 The freed female child workers drained physically and mentally believed themselves to be subservient members of a highly patriarchal society Balika Ashram's first batch of 35 girls were indeed pioneers. They went through non-formal education in various trades despite coming from some of the most backward areas of India. They strengthened BBA's resolve to launch its campaign on a global scale. Bal Ashram is situated in a picturesque valley amid the Aravalli hills in Viratnagar in the state of Rajasthan. Its mission is to inculcate leadership in the victims of servitude by providing basic education for children up to 14 and vocational training for children from 14 upwards Bal Ashram gives emancipation and holistic development a new meaning पढ़के इस पेटर बनेंगे और जो मालिक है ना बच्चों से काम कराते हैं उनको जेल में लाएंगे Marches have played an important role in highlighting the burning need and desire of oppressed peoples for freedom and justice 
throughout the history of the civilized world. In 1993, BBA organized the 2,000 kilometer long Bihar Delhi March and drew media, social and political attention to the plight of child laborers in the thriving carpet industry in India. This was an extension of the pioneering rug mark labeling or certification which began as the first consumer campaign on the issue of child labor in the world, in Germany and later in Europe and the USA. The 5,000 km long Kanyakumari Delhi March or the India March in 1994 emphasized that child labor was an issue on the parliamentary agenda in India. Whereas the 2,000 km long South Asia March from India to Nepal, organized in 1995, focused on cross-country trafficking and sale of children between India, Nepal, Bangladesh and Pakistan. On the 17th of January 1998, the world's single largest coalition on child servitude was formed as the GMACL, the Global March Against Child Labour, with around 20,000 NGOs, trade unions and human bodies in association with BBA. Spread over 144 nations in Asia, Africa, Latin America, Europe and North America. On that historic day, GMACL began an 80,000 km march with 7.2 million people demanding an end to child labor. A direct result of this dynamic action was the adoption of the International Labor Organization Convention 182, pledging to combat the worst forms of child labor universally. Shiksha Yatra, BBA's national level campaign, began in the village of Parasala in Kerala on 21st January 2001. It covered 15,000 kilometers in 20 states and 200 districts of the nation before culminating in New Delhi on the 20th of June 2001. The success of the marches for the right to education and of the BBA-initiated Parliamentary Forum on Education, consisting of 163 MPs from the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, resulted in the passage of the historic 93rd Constitutional Amendment Bill on 29th November 2001. The second most important national-level BBA campaign, Mukti Karva, was launched at Rajghat on 28th February 2002 to stop child labor migration from catchment areas of Bihar to hazardous industries in Uttar Pradesh. Raid and rescue missions, spearheaded at times by Kailash Satyarthi himself, have remained from its inception the most daunting tasks undertaken by BBA. It has had its share of martyrs for the cause. To date, two brave activists have given up their lives while liberating others from their lives of drudgery and slavery. This most novel method of hitting targets head-on involves BBA activists rescuing bonded children from various soul-numbing occupations, especially where local administrations often collude with child employers. After obtaining the release of the children, the release certificates which make obtaining statutory facilities for rehabilitation possible for such victims are often wrested from the callous administrations. The liberated children are then imparted with vocational training and conventional education. On another plane, BBA's unique conception of Bal Mitra Gram envisages a total child-friendly village where child labor is withdrawn and children are enrolled in schools. Through the formation of a Bal Panchayat or Child Assembly, child-centric issues are made a part and parcel of the decision-making process of the adult panchayat or village assembly. To achieve its dreams, BBA has forged ahead, making stakeholder platforms with more than 750 teachers' federations, schools, NGOs, 
human rights groups and trade unions. It is garnering experience through collaborations such as these that has made BBA take an initiative in the form of the forthcoming Children's World Congress on Child Labour to be held in Leonardo da Vinci's beloved Florence from the 10th to the 16th of May 2004. On the 19th of September 2000, while attending the release of the book Speak Truth to Power in a glittering ceremony at Washington DC, Kailash Satyarthi, one of the human rights encoders featured in the book by Kerry Kennedy Kumo, brought with him Kalu Kumar, a freed child labourer, as an equal partner and loyal disciple of PBA's mission. In a prophetic voice, Kalu Kumar reminded the 42nd US President, Bill Clinton, that world statesmen such as him and others present at the meeting needed to take concrete steps for the release and education of thousands of child labourers still languishing in bondage. The great poet Robert Frost wrote, I have miles to go before I sleep. It was he also who instilled in humanity at large Two roads went into the woods, and I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. I know we are marching on a very difficult path, but I am more than confident that the result is one and the only. We are going to reach to our end where no child is enslaved, where no child is exploited, where all the children are in the schools enjoying their childhood like many other children in the world. That is for very sure. It is going to happen very soon in my lifetime, in your lifetime. The road to salvation for millions of bonded child laborers needs padhyatris, very much like the 72 who accompanied Mahatma Gandhi on the historic Dandi march, to come and join BBA and become deliverers of childhood now.